welcome back so in the previous discussion I was going with d by dx of p into q now I will go with d by dx of p by q so this formula is q d by dx of p minus p into d by dx of q whole divided by q square for example d by dx of say for example x q by e to the power x so this is my p this is my q so this is e to the power x d by dx of x cube minus x cube into d by dx of e to the power x whole divided by e to the power x whole square so this is e to the power x d by dx of x cube you can ask yourself this is the first formula that is 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1 so this is 3 into x to the power 2 so this is 3x square minus x cube d by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x whole divided by e to the power x whole square is conventionally written as e to the power 2x why I'm obeying the formula x to the power m whole to the power n is x to the power m into n so e to the power x whole square is e to the power x into 2 e to the power x into 2 is written as x into 2 is nothing but 2x so that's it after I mean you do not have to take any common or anything you can leave your answer over here no problem but if at least you want to take any common you can make it like this e to the power x into 3x square minus x cube divided by e to the power 2x further if you want to take a common of x square you can take it also but you can leave the answer there only minus x cube x square is taken common so divide by x I mean whole divided by e to the power 2x things are so much so easy so I'll just visit the formula that we have used till now that e to the power d by dx of x to the power n is all that n into x to the power n minus 1 d by dx of c into x to the power is x, uh, x to the power n is c into d by dx of x to the power n which is c into n into x to the power n minus 1 these two are the same and so on d by dx of c is 0 then I will come to the next set of formulae that is d by dx of sin x is cos x d by dx of cos x is minus sin x d by dx of tan x is sec square x d by dx of sec x is sec x into tan x d by dx of cosec x is <coughs> minus cosec x into cot x d by dx of cot x is minus cosec square x so if you analyze this you can see all quantities beginning with c is negative so henceforth you do not have any confusion which one is positive which one is negative because if you just tell cos it should be negative others are positive so that way you can you can get questions like find dy dx of sin x divided by log x so this is your p this is your q you can use the formula that dy dx of p by q you can use and you can solve the problem sometimes questions are given to you like this that normally my students get scared of when it is cubed root of x square let me say x so they normally ask me how to do this kind of questions so for that we have to use this formula there is a formula in class 8 
nth root of x is x to the power 1 by n. So if I am writing square root of x, then this is x to the power square root. Nothing is there means 2 is there in mathematics. So this is 1 by 2. So this is nothing but square root of x. So cubed root of x is now d by dx of x to the power 1 by 3. So after that you can make it out 1 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 minus 1. So this is 1 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 minus 1. If you require you can go to the rough and 2. So this is 1 means 1 by 1. You take the LCM 3 into 1 is 3. Then hopefully you are cross multiplying like this 1 into 1 3 into 1. So this is 1 minus 3 into 1 is 3. So this is minus 2 by 3. So x to the power minus 2 by 3. So you can leave the answer over here or if you want to move a bit further it's 1 by 3 x to the power minus 2 by 3. Again I'll use the formula x to the power minus n is 1 by x to the power n. So I can write this like this 1 by 3 into 1 by x to the power 2 by 3. And I can leave the answer over here. Fatal, you are given a question like this d by dx of 7th root of x to the power 5. So, again, it's nth root of x, basically means x to the power 1 by n. Now, this x can be simply anything. It may not be only x, it may be an animal also, it may be a horse, it may be an elephant. So what I'm meaning that way is 7th root of x to the power 5 is x to the power 5 whole to the power 1 by 7. Whatever is there. If it is x, it is x. If it is x to the power 5, write x to the power 5 whole to the power 1 by 7. Then x to the power 5 into 1 by 7, I told x to the power m whole to the power n is x to the power m into n. So this is x to the power 5 by 7. So this question is only, not, I mean this is nothing but d, this is equal to dy dx of x to the power 5 by 7. Then this you can do 5 by 7 into x to the power 5 by 7 minus 1. So this is 5 by 7 into x to the power 5 minus 7 by 7. So 5 by 7 x to the power minus 2 by 7 which you can further write to be like 5 by 7 into 1 by x to the power 2 by 7 which I can simply write like 5 by 7 into x to the power 2 by 7 is how can I write this is x to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 7 so this is 7th root of x square so it's 1 by 7th root of x square you do not have to do all these things you can leave the answer over here. There is no point, there are no chances that you lose your marks if you are not coming all the way to this. Because it's a question on differentiation, it will come in one mark. And in these all questions, we require how good you are in differentiation. I'm running short of time. Please catch me in my next video. Thanks for watching.